71 says, calculate the molar concentration of OH minus in a 0 0.075 molar solution of ethyl amine. So here's our ethyl amine right here. Since you see it has an NH2, you'd probably guess it'd be a base because, of course, NH2s are, are amines, which are good at getting another hydrogen. And then you notice there's the little B below the K right here, too. So you know that that's a base because that's a basic equilibrium constant. And then it says calculate the pH of the solution. So the first thing you want to do is write the balanced equation. So here's my ethyl amine. When in doubt, react it with water. This is going to be a hydrogen getter. So it's going to become NH3 with a little plus sign right here. And then this is our conjugate base because it's what's left over after the acid is released as proton. And water, in this case, is acting as an acid. OK, so the next thing you want to do is draw an ice table. So here's our initial. And it tells us in 71, the initial concentration is 0 0.075. Don't worry about water because it's pure liquid. And then 0 and 0 right here. And then the change is we're going to lose a certain amount of this. We'll call it x. We'll gain a certain amount of this and gain a certain amount of this. And so then at equilibrium, we'll have 0 0.075 minus x, x, and x. OK? Then what we want to do is we want to write the KB expression because they tell us the KB right here. So KB is equal to the products. So C2H5 and H3 plus times OH minus divided by the reactants C2H5, whoops, NH2. Don't put water in there, remember? And then this is equal to x times x, so x squared will go on the top, divided by 0 0.075, and ignore that x and say that it's small. So we end up with x squared over 0 0.075 is equal to the Kb that they give us, which is 6.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. Then we need to solve this for x by multiplying by 0 0.075 on both sides of the equation and taking the square root. And I end up with x, which is the OH minus ion concentration, equaling 6.9 times 10 to the negative third. Once you're there and you have the OH minus ion concentration, you'll want to find the pOH and then the pH. So take the negative log of this number to get pOH, and then move from there by subtracting from 14 to get the pH. And after you do that, you get 11.84.